On Monday, a powerful EF2 twister ripped through Revere, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. It debunks a common myth that tornadoes don't happen near cities. They can happen anywhere, including the Champlain Valley. A tornado similar in strength to what damaged Revere hit Colchester back in the 80s, packing winds over 110 miles per hour. It hit um, in Colchester where Airport Park is now, that used to be an actual airport, flipped some, some uh, planes that were uh, parked there and took down a bunch of trees. Franklin County, Vermont has also seen several tornadoes partially enhanced by the terrain. It seems to be a little more of a hot spot. They've had uh, a little stronger tornadoes, a few more of them uh, over the last 60 years or so of records. Vermont averages just one tornado per year, but if that one storm hits a populated area, it will cause major problems. As it so happens, the National Weather Service just modeled what would happen in a so-called worst case scenario, a tornado forming in Burlington, then traveling east right along Route 2, straight to South Burlington, ending at the airport. It's all about the planning, so we come up with some of these weather scenarios so we can plan ourselves how, we, how do we do it, but then we give that information to some of the local agencies, state, uh, local, federal agencies, so they can practice some of their emergency plans. Burlington does just that. We're always adjusting uh, the plans and we're always watching what's going on. Chief Lasker, Burlington's emergency manager, says communication and teamwork are most important when preparing for severe weather. We're in as good a position as, as anybody, as any community could be. In Burlington, I'm meteorologist Michael Page, Fox 44 News.